My name is Brother Al, and I live and work at the Song and Spirit Institute for Peace. I think it's delicious today, and hot coffee as well as breakfast bars, hands, gloves, scarves, hand warmers, toe warmers, and socks. These hats are all handmade. This morning we are at the Rosa Parks Transit Center. There we go, three socks. And hand warmers, how many of those did you need? This is a place where many people who may be homeless, may be poor, may be in need, sometimes gather to get out of the elements. Oh, it's supposed to get even colder. I know, it's gonna get down to minus two today. We do it because it has to be done. We do it because we are a community of faith and believe that it is at the heart of our belief system. Let me get a couple pairs of socks. All right. A man I'd never seen before, with a heavy Middle Eastern accent, asked for some coffee. Then pointing to the side of the caravan, asked me why there was a crescent moon pictured there, alongside the symbols of other religions. I told him the truth, that we were there to care for everyone, no exceptions. Well, it took him a couple of minutes to process that, I think. Then using both his hands, he formed the shape of a heart, holding it to his chest. Oh, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Oh, my Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. There will be no peace in the world until there is peace among the world's religions. When we talk with each other, sing with each other, when we share a meal and laugh with each other, we begin to understand that our differences are far less important than our similarities. Havdalah is a Hebrew word that means separation. It describes the short service on Saturday evening where Jews close out the Sabbath that we've been keeping since Friday at sundown. We use wine, spices, candles. Let me bring your joy. Oh Lord. The first time I took Brother Al to a Havdalah service, he noted that as the candle is extinguished to signify the end of the Jewish Sabbath, at that moment, the Lord's Day begins. Sunday begins Saturday evening. And with what ritual do you celebrate this event every week, I asked him? Nothing special, he admitted. And so now we lead an experience on Saturday evening that is very special indeed. Before I extinguish the Havdalah candle, I light Brother Al's Domene Candela, a Sunday candle. Thus do we pass sacred flame, sacred time, from one community to another. And the Jews and the Christians sing to one another, sing with each other, and we dare to worship in one another's company. We've come to see our interfaith programming as a kind of spiritual outreach. Of course, this wouldn't be the first time that an idea at Song and Spirit had benefits far beyond what we could have imagined. We began the Art and Action program on a whim. We invited six people to learn mosaic art in the hopes that sales would benefit the caravan outreach. And the idea of creating art in service was born. Make me an instrument of your Word spread. Tile volunteers told friends who told friends. It's been five years now, and there's a rotating group of over 50 volunteers. About 25 make it each week to support the work of Song and Spirit with their creativity. We also provide workshops for adults with disabilities, youth and adults from every faith tradition. We've provided a day of respite for people going through cancer treatments and helped build up the self-esteem of young expectant mothers who are having a rough go of it. What we didn't expect was the camaraderie and community that this art program would create. We've helped each other through celebrations and tragedies, births and deaths, illness and misunderstandings, with love and prayer and lots of laughter. 
the work of our art volunteers impacts all areas of service here at Song and Spirit. From decorating snack packs for the caravan, creating the art that adorns the chapel, even the funky painted fences that line everyone's garden on our grounds. Everyone's garden. Everyone's garden. Everyone's garden is magic. To me, there's a magical quality. Any given Saturday morning, people start to gather in the garden and... There's beauty, there's, there's plants, there's colors. Pretty quickly, everyone spreads out and starts a different task in the garden. Uh, people of all ages, um, different backgrounds, different genders, different abilities. Before long, it's all packaged up in giant bags, and you know that within hours, it's going to be going to some family who otherwise might not have food. Serve those people who work at low-wage positions and jobs in the downtown Detroit area. Well, there you go. You got a pair for your wife as well. We have been in need of purchasing such things as gloves, hand warmers, toe warmers, and hats. All right, trust they want. Best quality of Detroit right now it is its people. I just, okay. Thank you. Oh, I can do it as long as I'm able to. Okay, God bless you. As long as uh, we have the means to do so. Good morning, how are you? Need some hand warmers with that? I'm Brother Al. 